the U.S. Geological Survey, they told us where to go find this dirt 35 miles south of here. And it's probably produced, what well, I'm going to say, the best racetrack crown. So, yeah. But J.J. Yaley, he was amazing. I, I remember watching him just bouncing around and, you know, I went home that night and thought, oh my God, what have I got myself into? Um, was anybody here for the first mud bog we had in 96? We had a wing division, I can't remember what the name of it was, SCOA or something out of Arizona. That's when I first started working on the racetrack. I was, do, I was working in another family business. Bubby was here, Bubby Jones was here, and he and I were doing the racetrack. And Bubby went to a race, I think in Vegas or Phoenix or something, and, and he said, Don, you just gotta make sure you got a lot of water on the track when they go out, because those wings are gonna dry the track out. So I watered from four in the morning till when the first car pushed off at five o'clock at night. And it was a nightmare. I mean, we had cars stuck everywhere on this track. You know, I learned real easy. You can go a little bit too far with the water. I mean, they kept telling me, you can't put enough water on this thing, you can't put enough water on That was a nightmare. Didn't do it once, did it twice. You know, learned the hard way in 96, but if you were here, God bless you for sticking with us. Um, I'm going to go down memory lane a little, bit, a little bit more. Has anyone been here for every race since 1996? Has anybody in the crowd ever been, have made, okay. Do I see any hands? No. You, well, okay. Well, you need to get a life, pal. I mean, no. This is my life. <laughs> yeah. I, I've actually missed, I think, three races since 96. Um, has anybody been here for every sprint car race since opening night? I, I, there's got to be somebody here. Nobody? You missed two? That's pretty good. I, I missed one sprint car race, I think, in our life. And that was the night somebody decided to get in our water truck full of water at 3 o'clock in the morning and flip it to turn four. That was a nice fine one Sunday morning. Um, okay, were you here for that one? Okay. You left a bloody hat in the water truck. Um, anybody here for the first visit ever to this racetrack? Shame on you guys. Why haven't you been here? Huh? You had to drive 3,000 miles? Wow! Okay, you win the long tow award. That gets you nothing. <laughs> 10,000 points. <laughs> How far did you come? New Zealand. New Zealand? Woo! Do you guys have sprint cars in New Zealand? I know you. And you go the wrong way, don't you? No? That's just the water in the toilet. <laughs> anyway, you know, for 20 years, you can't do this by yourself. We've had numerous sponsors in this facility come and go, but we've only had two since 1996. That's Pepsi and Budweiser. They, they stepped up literally within the first week of the first shovel going in the ground, and I got to thank them. But if you have a chance, to use any of the services of our existing sponsors or their products, yeah. please do. You know, it pays back, and, and believe it or not, in today's world, they can measure it. And, uh, you know, but without, just like the race team, without the sponsors, the racetrack doesn't live. And uh, I, I just really got to thank all of our sponsors. I've had the pleasure of having the best staff of probably any short track in the country. I got some of my key folks here that have been here the longest. You know, we got the best announcing crew, I think, in the business. I got the best announcer, the best publicist, best PR guy, Scott Pelosio, bar none. You know, he's shy, he doesn't like to get in front of the crowd, but his voice over the microphone is the Vince Scully of short track races, bar none. Chris Holt's been here for every race, born out of Ascot. Um, he, 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 you know, he, he, he can't say that. No, I can't say that. Ronnie Everhart, she started racing here when we ran Hornets. And I remember one staff meeting, I said, we need a woman announcer. So I went to Ronnie and said, have you ever announced? And she goes, no. And I said, you want to try? She goes, yep. And she's been here almost 
Ten years. Ten years, half a life. You know, that's amazing. Ryan's been unbelievable. You know, I've had a lot of officials come and go, but these three guys have been here for a long time. I mean, they're just they're ridiculously devoted to the racetrack. Kevin Winters is our starter. Steve Aldis has been our chief steward for years. And Coach Rick Fulton, promoter in training, uh, help, has been helping me with the racetrack for the last four years, and these guys have been Son. unbelievable. Um, Step side. I got Liz Companion, who started racing here in the compact division. She, she you know, has been dedicated to this racetrack for forever. You know, she, she does whatever we ask her to do. And Jennifer's been here for, how many years have you been here, Jennifer? Nine? Nine, nine, you know, you know she's, they're unbelievable. You know, got wide open Wayne, he's been here forever. He's probably the, the, you know, the most decorated race car driver, as you say, you know, the spectator race. You know, he's, he's just unbelievable. Um, I, I'm coming to Kim. I'm coming to Kim. <laughs> Charlie, I don't know where Charlie is. I, I sent him a text. He's, in, he's fine in the bar. Um, Charlie was here the day we put the first shovel in the ground. He took a three year hiatus uh, about eight years ago, ten years ago. Then he came back. He's my brother from another mother. <laughs> We gave him, <laughs> I got it. We gave him the nickname when we were building this place of Captain Can Do. I mean, he was working 20 hours a day. When we needed something, we called Charlie on the radio, and it magically, within four to six hours, it would show up and it was taken care of. The guy, I mean, we have done stuff out here that no human being should do together, but Charlie and I have had, had a great time. I gotta mention uh, the late Ray Sheet. Ray Sheets. He was like a second dad to me. Um, you know, Ray passed away a couple years ago. Ray and I spent hours and hours working together. He was our mechanic when we were sprint car owners at Ascot when Bubby ran for us. And uh, you know, I got I just Ray is I talk to him every day when I'm going around this track in the greater. Okay, now we're getting to camp. You know, no. <laughs> she's been in here. She's been here every day for 20 years. <laughs> God bless her. <laughs> you never know when you're going to meet somebody, met at work, and fall in love. And that's exactly what happened. You know, she has sacrificed a bunch. She's been with me every step of the way of this journey for 20 years. Kim? Would you please stand up? <laughs> She's shy. Yeah, but, yeah, we live and breathe and sleep this business. That's what we do. We try not to talk about it at home, but that never happens. Yeah, we always do. And uh, God love her, and she's been with me, and I'm proud to have her as my wife. The last is my dad. No, no, I got it. You really wanted to be here. Without his uh, support, guidance, I wouldn't be here. You know, I did talk to him this morning. He's at home, you know, suffering with Alzheimer's. But, uh, he wanted to give you your best, and God love him, God bless him. Oh, yeah. So, in the uh, famous words of Kim out that was born out of a dance contest, let's go racing, guys! You know, obviously a very emotional uh, Donnie Kazarian here, and a big hand to Donnie. I, I think uh, he deserves it. And uh, uh, Donnie said, I know I'm going to miss a few people, and he did. 
uh, the, the skip our tow truck driver, all of our tow truck drivers, a lot of our officials, a lot of the officials that uh, we've lost, you know, Evelyn Kraft, uh, Steve Howard, all the people. Uh, but a great big thank you. Uh, I wish I could kiss every one of you folks uh, that uh, are here tonight. And, and people like uh, Keith Crisco that's showing up, I mean, and, uh, and Kirby sponsors, all you guys, uh, RJ sponsors, everybody that shows up week in, week out, and helps support here at the Paracon Speedway. Uh, we love every one of you. And um, uh, Donnie Kazarian that just gave his little speech, and that was, was his way of saying thank you very much. Uh, he, he really pours his heart and soul into this. And uh, Ronnie, thank you for 10 wonderful years. It's been great. Well, thank you, Chris. It has been great. And thank you, Don Kazarian and all the staff for letting me be a part of the Parasolo Speedway family. And I don't know if you guys are, are aware of it or not, but um, Don Kazarian just got voted Promoter of the Year. So give Don Kazarian a big hand. He does uh, beyond and above anything that's necessary to run a great facility, and he puts on a number one show out here for you fans and for the drivers. So we thank you, Don Kazarian, for your um, dedication to the sport and for a fantastic track. And thank you, Chris. All right, and you know, it's good to see that uh, Brian Williams is out of jail. He's paid his bill. He's back on his feet, and he's here tonight. Yeah, it is. And you know, what about that, Brian? He just can't stay out of trouble, can he? He doesn't even try. Yeah, I think he needs to get out here and get some of that um, that energy out on the truck. We're talking about that. All right, well, let's go racing, Ronnie. Let's go racing, Chris.